except she did. Um, she was crying for a little while. It made Whoa. me feel so bad, but now she's fine. Ready? Let's go. Set. room for this breakfast run over the treadmill for this breakfast run we spin in a circle but it's a breakfast run <laughs> Apollo is excited and I think we've been blurry this whole time but that's okay cuz it's breakfast time you got it any help good job high five boom yogurt it is want some yogurt or some go-gurt Go Gert. Oh, what up guys? I haven't seen you down there before. See you later. Where's the monkey? Can you show me the monkey? Let me see him, where is he? Right there. <gasps> There's that monkey. What is? What sound does he make? Are you eating the monkey? Does he taste good? Yeah. Yeah. Monkeys taste good. Guess what guys? Super exciting announcement. Can you tell everybody what you did this morning? Did you go pee on the potty? Yeah. You guys, we woke up dry. Our diaper was dry, so we went to the bathroom and she went pee on the toilet! Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, Daddy's excited. That's the first time we've woke up dry and then gone to the bathroom and actually gone. We woke up dry before, but every time we go to the bathroom, she's like, yeah, I don't really want to. But this time, it was like pretty much immediate. She was like, sure, let's go to the bathroom. She sat down and bam, she went. I am so proud of you. Give me a high five. Hey, give me a high five. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. <laughs> give me a high five. Boom. Thank you. So anyways guys, I was super excited about that. Hi. What's up? You want another high five? High five, boo! Yeah. No, is that too much? Anyways, super excited. Hopefully it wasn't a fluke. Hopefully it continues to go to the bathroom on, hopefully she continues to go to the bathroom on the toilet. But uh, I'm getting excited because hopefully this potty training thing will actually start working. Be you want some help? Because we were trying to potty train and then we just kind of hit this roadblock and she just like refused to go. Like she knew she had to go to the bathroom but she just refused. So hopefully that roadblock is coming to an end and this whole pee pee on the potty thing continues. Oh, oh, oh don't spin it everywhere. Alright guys, I gotta go. We got go grid everywhere. Who's coming? Oh, Kevin. Oh, are you excited? <laughs> you are? Is that why you were going, yay, Uncle Kevin, in the car? So we just got back from work. Um, Uncle Kevin texted and asked if he could come over because he kind of works nearby. Can I have it? So she got super excited. Um, we're going to have a snack like we always do. She comes home and has a snack. Um, I'm going to have coffee. Today was a much better day. It was a good day. Much better. It's always nice when... Oh, these stinking... These stinking house fly thingies. Um, we have fruit flies because I don't even know if we told you. I'll tell you the story later. It's really annoying. Anyway, so Uncle Kevin's coming over and we're gonna hang out. Not sure if he's staying for dinner or not. I guess we'll see. Um, we're having a snack and look who picked out her own outfit. Okay, can you show off your outfit? Say, oh, hello. Say, oh, this old thing? It is an interesting outfit, but I guess at least she matches. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> she found one of my bobby pins on the floor and keeps putting in her hair and saying, oh no, where'd my bow go? Can you come show them your bow? Show them you're pretty. You're trying to put it in your hair or are you pooping? Cause I can't tell. Come here kiddo. Can you, where are you going? Show mommy your bow. Oh, ah. You're just being silly to be silly. What'd you hear? Puppy. A puppy? 
Can you talk back to it? Say, oh, be quiet, puppy. Okay, baby. How many people have neighbor dogs that will bark? Hold on. That will bark and bark and bark and bark and bark. Bark and bark, bark. All the time. And you don't want to complain because I know that. Bark. I know bark. that Apollo bark. bark. You do it. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it's kind of, oh, but James has taught her, you know, oh, did you toot? Oh, did daddy toot? And so now she will like lay claim to, I tooted. Or like call you out, oh, daddy tooted. So. Before she knew what it was, she always used to say, Daddy pooped. <laughs> it's like, no, he didn't poop. <laughs> At least I hope not. Anyway, distracted. Um, this dog across the street, or across the street, across the way, um, they always let it out and it always barks. And I understand there are some breeds that are more yippy than others. But if you know that, don't leave them out. <laughs> you know? I know Apollo barks and... If he chooses to bark, he has to go back inside because he I. Go inside? Yeah, he has to go back inside. Hmm? Yeah. Were you worried for some reason? Or are you good? Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, because it's not my neighbor's fault that I have a big dog that sometimes likes to bark, and when he barks, he barks. It's loud. Um. So why punish the neighbor? That's how I feel. So I just get a little frustrated sometimes when it's, you know, 11 o'clock at night and they've been barking since, you know, 8, 6 sometimes. It's, it was bad one point. Anyway, I turned this on because I scratched my forehead earlier with something. I don't remember what. And now I have this bumpage that itches like no other. How many people have done that? Where like you scratched your forehead or any part and then all of a sudden it's just itching like no other. I've just been sitting like this for half the day. So I'm sure the kids in my class are thinking, oh my goodness, Mrs. Chick has a disease or something. Cause I'm just like, Arr. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea. But hopefully it only stays like this and doesn't like engulf my face. Oh my god, bubbles everywhere. I'm sure our neighbors are like, what is going on? Yeah, they're all blowing away. But I highly recommend if any parents, because my sister-in-law did a bubble party for her one of her daughter's birthdays. Um, not a typhoon. Brazilian bubble typhoon 2.0. It is amazing. Look at this. It's like bubble paradise. You guys can even see it. Look at how crazy that is. Okay, don't touch the top though. She is loving it. Did you pop it? What? More bubbles! Get them! <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, bubbles. They're so fun. Say, look, guys. Okay. What is that? A bamboo toe. A bamboo toe. Did you get an owie? Toe. On your toe, too? She really wants one on her toe for whatever reason. I want a toe. Okay, Mama will get one for your toe. Can you say what you have? What's on your What's on your ankle? We poo. We need the, we need the poo what? Tigger. And Tigger? What is it? Blanket. Is it a band-aid? Perfect. Can you say band-aid? Band-aid. Band-aid. 
What up, you guys? I'm headed to lunch, but I just wanted to say, look at this day. It is gorgeous out here. Hold on, let me get around the corner. Look at that sky. Portland skyline. It is just beautiful out. It's not too hot. It's like mid to high 70s, which for me is perfect. The sun is super bright shining. And look at these clouds. Those are some cool looking clouds right there. Yep. I love that kind of formation. Anybody know anything about clouds? The only cloud I know is like cumulus nimbus, but I know that's not what kind those are. Anybody know what kind of clouds those are? Because they're super cool. They go in this like pattern or like not pattern, but like the wind stream. You can see the way the wind is carrying them. It's super cool looking. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab some food. Just wanted to say hey because it is beautiful out and I hope you guys are having a good day. Hey kiddo, who's with you? Who is that? <laughs> Who is it? Who? Yeah! Have you been waiting for him to come? Uh -huh. Yeah? <laughs> she had to keep checking the window to find out if Uncle Kevin was here or not. Is he silly? That was right in my throat. <laughs> oh, you didn't need your throat. Come on. So tell him no barking. So no barking. Especially because, you guys, he like body checked her. He got so excited that Uncle Kevin was here. And he got too excited, and she was going to run yeah, to Uncle no barking, Kevin, right. and he was Fine. running around all excited like he does, and he just slammed into her, and she went flying. I felt horrible. Okay. Isn't that right, kiddo? Are you feeling better? Now that you have Uncle Kevin feeding you juice? She hardly noticed, except she did. Um, she was crying for a little while. It made me feel so bad. But now she's fine. As soon as Uncle Kevin started tickling her, she was fine. What up, chicklets? Oh, actually, I should be quiet. Everybody's sleeping. <laughs> Oops. I'm just staying up late as usual, so I figured I'd just chat with you guys for a little bit before I decide to, uh, finally go to bed. Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but five hours of sleep on average just isn't enough for me. Oh, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out, but I feel like I complain too much. I gotta stop doing that. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. My day was actually pretty cool. Kevin came over. It was good to see him after work. I uh, got to hang out with Baby Chick for a little bit. Uh, I finished the next episode of Legend of Baby Chick. Speaking of which, that is now live on Baby League, so click right here or click on the in slate, I'll have it there as well. Check that out, it's a pretty sweet one. Uh, Baby Chick has yet again another superpower, and who knows, maybe there's some exciting twist at the end that you'll have to stick around to find out. Anyways, oh man. <sighs> Do you guys yawn when people yawn on uh, TV or vlogs or anything like that? I've noticed myself yawning when I see people yawn, so I'm sorry if I just caused you guys to yawn. I just updated my software, so I have this cool new layout. It's kind of weird how any software when they update, uh, whether you be editing software or Microsoft Word or anything like that, it seems like they change things for no reason, like stupid things. It's like they change where this one button is that I use all the time, only now it's in a different place, so I have to figure out how to use that. So I'm kind of getting used to the new layout of this AE 2014, uh, and certain things are frustrating, and they're different between a PC and a Mac. All right, the big debate. Who out there is a PC person and who out there is a Mac person? I, even though I am a creative type, and most creative types like Macs, I'm a PC guy because I'm also a practical type and Mac PCs are so much more cheaper and affordable than Macs are. So uh, I work on Macs at uh, my day job at Hive Effects where I do the visual effects on Grimm and whatnot, but when I'm at home, I do stuff on a PC because it's cheaper. Uh, so I have to go back and forth and so when things are different on a PC and a Mac, it gets to me because I have to switch back and forth. My brain's got to switch from the PC mode to the Mac mode when I'm working at home or at work. So anyways, it gets confusing. Anyways, I don't really remember what I picked up the camera for, but I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you liked it, give it that thumbs up as usual. And be sure, to go down, check out the new Legend of Baby Chick episode. Check out yesterday's vlog if you didn't see it. And if you are new, Boom, click subscribe right there, that subscribe button, so that way you guys can be updated every time we upload a vlog. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a great day.
Bye.